If you want to become a real Gmail power user, you'll need to learn to use keyboard shortcuts. Not only will it save you time, but it will also boost your overall productivity. Before you can start using keyboard shortcuts in Gmail, you first need to enable them in your account settings. The instructions are the same, no matter which browser you use to access Gmail. First, open Gmail in your browser and log into your account. Select the gear icon in the upper right corner of the screen to access the quick settings menu. Now select see all settings. Scroll down to the keyboard shortcut section and select keyboard shortcuts on. Then scroll down and select save changes to confirm. You've now enabled keyboard shortcuts and can use them in your Gmail account. Let's go over some of the most important and useful Gmail shortcuts you should know. The C key opens the new message window. The D key opens the new message window in full screen in a new browser tab. Control plus enter or command plus enter for Windows and Mac respectively will send an open email. The F key will forward an open email. The R key opens the reply window. If you need to reply to all recipients of an email at once, use the A key. Tab and Shift plus tab is used when composing an email. These shortcuts that you jump back and forth from one field of the new message window to another. Use the J key to scroll down your email list and the K key to scroll up your email list. The N key is handy when you need to scroll through an email thread with multiple conversations. When you don't have time to deal with an email but don't want to lose it in a pile of other messages, use Shift plus U to mark it as unread. For this shortcut to work, you first need to open the email or select it from the list. Shift plus the equal sign goes one step further and marks the conversation as important to make sure you don't lose it. Open an email or select it from the list and then use the shortcut. Open an email and select it from the list and then use the E key to archive it. The Shift plus three shortcut will move an open email to trash. Use Shift when you need to select a bunch of emails at once, like when you need to delete them or mark them as read or unread. Select the first email, then press and hold the shift key while selecting the rest of the emails. Ctrl plus B or Command plus B for Windows and Mac respectively gets you the bolded text effect. Highlight the text that you wish to bold and then use the shortcut. Similarly, you can use Ctrl or Command plus I to get italics. Finally, you can use Ctrl or Command plus U to get the underline text effect. Control or Command plus the Z button is used to undo the previous action. Control or Command plus Shift and 7 adds a numbered list to your email. Just place the cursor where you want your list to start and use the shortcut. Control or Command plus K is used when you want to insert a URL in your email. Simply highlight the text, use the shortcut, and then put in your hyperlink. G and I will open the inbox. G and S will open start conversations. Use G and T to get a gin and tonic. No, to go to sent messages. G and D is a shortcut to use to list your draft emails. Finally, G plus A is a shortcut you use to go to all emails. If you want to go to contacts, use G and C. If you want to go to tasks, it's G plus K. If you need to review any of these shortcuts, just use shift and the question mark button together and you'll see a list of all shortcuts pop up. See you next time.